and welcome to my video. Today I'm filming in my kitchen, so if there are some background noises from my freezer, my my refrigerator, it's just what we're gonna have to live with today. But anyhow, today I want to be talking about being an empath and a highly sensitive person. And before I'm going to get into that, I just want to say thank you so much for all the new subscribers I've gotten on my channel. I had seven subscribers recently and now i have 13 subscribers thank you for all of my new subscribers and the people who subscribed to me just in general thank you for all of my subscribers i really appreciate your support and i'm just gonna go into the video now so first of all let's talk about what an empath or highly sensitive person are and just so you know before i really get into the video i'm also going to be saying hsp and that's just a short term for a highly sensitive person, just so you know. What is a HSP? Well, it's a personality trait. It's a sensory processing sensitivity. Common characteristics are being easily overwhelmed, being upset by violence on TV and identifying as deeply emotional. A highly sensitive person or HSP is a term for those who are thought to have an increased or deeper central nervous system sensitivity to physical, emotional or social stimuli. It's a trait found in 20% of the population. Highly sensitive people are born that way. As children, they might be described by teachers as shy or inhibited, especially in Western countries. As adults, they might be described as introverts, an empath or highly sensitive person, HSP, is someone who is, experiences the emotion of others. Empaths have the unique ability to sense and absorb other people's emotions, which typically makes them extremely caring, compassionate and understanding people. Empaths have the ability to easily see another person's perspective. And I'm an empath and that's why I'm making this video. And I want to talk about how being an empath impacts me in different ways. And I'm just going to mention some of the ways, not all of them. For example, seeing the news really fills me with negativity. It's really hard for me being in a room where there's some really strong emotions going on, especially when they're negative. If someone is really sad or something really hard is going on in their life, it's really hard for me to be around them because I absorb their emotions. I take the energy of these feelings on myself and it can really easily become too much for me and it can be really draining for me to be around people with such strong feelings of, uh, of ne negative feelings, whether it's hate or sadness or something like that. And people have also often called me shy or too sensitive. I said, or they have said that I, they think that I think too much. And this has always made me sad because nothing is wrong with me. I just feel more emotions and stronger emotions than most people. I hope in the future that being sensitive is not seen as something that is negative. I think being more open and sensitive connects us more to each other. I get sad easily seeing other people crying or seeing people or animals hurting. And it will often make me cry too. And a great example of this is just, I filmed a video of me crying because I've made a video on my other channel about my hamster dying. And just having to edit a video where <laughs> I myself was crying made me cry. So yeah, I'm really sensitive to all the people's emotions and feelings and all what's going on in the world. And negative things in the world really affects me a lot because I really think that Everyone should be treated right in this world, but it just isn't that way and that just really makes me sad and it really affects me a lot. I'm also really sensitive to sounds and all that's happening around me uh, if I'm around little people. I'm also sensitive to touch and I can block it out and it can really be energy draining too. I feel emotions strongly if I get sad, I get really sad and if I am happy, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very sensitive to other people's touch, as just mentioned, and 
It could also just be how the clothing feel on my body. That's also a form of touch. I don't handle changes very well, especially changes that goes quickly and I don't know that this change was coming. My battery often gets easily drained. I'm in lack of energy most of the time. Being around a lot of people is very exhausting and I love solitude. So that was just a short video about what being an empath is all about and some of the things that I go through because I'm an empath. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and again thank you to all of my new subscribers. It really means a lot that you're supporting me. But anyways, I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe and turn on notifications.